Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your tutor, Disha. Today, I'll be talking about transport across membranes. And when I say membranes, I mean the cell membrane. The cell membrane is made up of a phospholipid bilayer and is selectively permeable. Yes, it will allow certain small molecules to pass through the membrane, but larger molecules must use transport mechanisms to get across the cell. Now, there are two types of transport across the cell membrane. There's active and passive. So active transport is a type of transport mechanism that uses energy from adenosine triphosphate to get substances across the cell membrane. Now, in active processes, substances are transported from an area of low concentration to high concentration. So we would say substances are being moved against their concentration gradient. A passive, on the other hand, involves the movement of substances in or out of the cell without the use of energy. In this mode of transport, substances rely on a concentration gradient. It's moving from a region where there's a lot of molecule, we say high concentration, to low concentration down the concentration gradient. Now, what are the different types of active and passive transport? For active transport, you have the use of pumps. And a primary example of this is the sodium potassium pump in our nervous system, which pumps potassium ions in while pumping sodium ions out. And there's also the use of vesicles which are small fluid filled sacs. And when vesicles enter the cell, it's called endocytosis. And when vesicles exit the cell, it's called exocytosis. Now, passive transport is seen primarily through three processes. Simple diffusion, there is facilitated diffusion. Facilitated here means help. So something is helping or assisting these molecules to get in or out of the cell. And we call this thing a carrier protein. And lastly, there's osmosis, which is a special type of diffusion. Now for the CSEC and K biology students, you must know the following definitions and examples of each. Remember, diffusion is the movement of molecules or ions from a region where there's a high amount to a region where there's a low amount. And the molecules or ions are moving down a concentration gradient. What are some examples of diffusion in plants or animals? In animals, a primary example of diffusion is seen in our respiratory system. Yes, diffusion at the alveoli where oxygen diffuses into the blood capillaries and carbon dioxide diffuses out. In plants, there is gaseous exchange at the stomata, of course, where we know carbon dioxide diffuses into the stomata to the mesophyll layer to be fixed during the process of photosynthesis. Osmosis, movement of solvent molecules across a semi membrane from an area of high to low concentration. What are some examples of osmosis? It is seen in the excretory system of animals where you have the reabsorption of important solvent molecules. And in plants, osmosis is seen during the absorption of water and mineral ions into plant root hairs. Examples of active transport. Active transport is seen both in the digestive and nervous system during absorption in the small intestine as well as the sodium potassium pumps in the nervous system that we spoke about during this process. Now, endocytosis, recall, it's the taking in of materials into the cell enclosed in vesicles. And there are two types of endocytosis. Phagocytosis, does that name ring a bell? Phago, phagocytes, right. So phagocytes engulfing a bacteria during an immune response is a primary example. And pinocytosis is the taking in of fluid into the cell. Exocytosis, recall, it's the 
sending out or elimination of molecules enclosed in vesicles out of the cell. And an example of this is seen when cells release hormones or enzymes enclosed in vesicles out of the cell. All right, guys, so now that we are familiar with all of these beautiful transport terms, join me now in my virtual lab where I'll demonstrate some of the active and passive processes. Stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.